Let's start this video off with the psycho dogs. Let's start the morning right. I'm gonna load the bulldozer up. In Alabama, we have to load these things on the trailers backwards. That's a uh, requirement over here. Starting up on the trailer now, and y'all will see it. Come on the front here. You can feel it. See how the machine's wobbling? That's it, notice. What I do is I get it up there where it pivots, and I just creep it right over. Let's see. What are we about to tip here? There she goes. No I'm not even looking back now, I'm just watching the trailer in front of me here. Say so just showed up with the detach. Uh, Jay's right there. He's gonna work on our uh, gonna work on the hydraulics on that detach. But we have a motor on that one, and that's what we run the hydraulics off of. And the reason why is, is because we hook that trailer to a bunch of different trucks, so we never know what truck it's going to be hooked to. So it's really senseless in us having a truck that's got a wet kit on it, because you know you never know which truck's going to be hooked to that trailer. So that's why we have it like that. It's just simpler for us. You can go on down. That far one is just lined up with the air hoses are on there underneath the main thing trailer. Just make sure that one on your side is not slide up. Okay. See which one it is. That's yeah. Right. Now I'm finna go on back on the trailer. I'm still gonna put the air on it. Yeah. Okay, just sit there and watch that one and leave the track and on back. Yeah, you're good. Here's the cross power. Get up the car. Come on, the air line right there. Uh, uh, Right there. 
You see, if you got a machine that's got the cylinder underneath the boom, you can't do that. trailer straining to pick that load up. We had that trailer built 2008. It's nine years old. It'll be 10 toward the end of this year. And uh, it ain't never been up to snuff. It's always been like that, especially with my machine and Kevin's machine on it and Derek's. It's strange, so, but we're we're about to change that, though. That's the reason why Jay's over here today. We're gonna put a we're, we're gonna put a whole different engine on that thing, a lot bigger engine that's on it than it, than is on it now. We're also gonna put a lot different hydraulic pump on it, so we're gonna solve that straining problem, and then we're gonna put a an air latch on it on the coupler there where it where it breaks at the neck right there. We've had trouble with that too, so it'll you'll just be able to unlatch it with air once Jay gets done with it. So we're gonna improve that thing a good bit. We paid, when we, when we had that trailer built, it was built up there at Free Trailers up in uh, North Carolina. I think that dad just told me, I, cause I asked him, I thought we gave about 80,000 for it. And he said, no, he said he paid 65 for that trailer new. And we were just talking, you probably can't buy that same trailer right now for under a hundred, I bet. That thing skimming across top of that. I had some people ask me why we put our dozer up on a high low boy like that. Well, we're using the detach to haul these track machines, the, the big track machines. That's why. So we run two low boys. Sometimes we run three. All right. So right there is that skid trail that I was in the other day that was rutted so bad. We took it and took the bulldozer and filled it completely in, covered all the ruts up, got it all back leveled off, and then took and brushed that whole thing. Chad's got just a little bit more brush to bring right here in this little spot right here and below me right here and fill that, but you can see what it looks like right there all the way uh, 
around through there. It turned out really nice. Really nice. I just loaded the last load on the whole job on this 90 acres. And on this 90 acres, I only loaded one load of hardwood. We have never done that. We always load two, three loads of hardwood just about every day if we run, say, 20 loads in a day total. But this job here had no hardwood on it virtually. They had, uh, I think they had sprayed it enough to where it kept it killed down and just a pine come out. But I'm about to get on the grader over here and do some touch up work. I'm going to hit the county road again right quick. And uh, Dad's on his way to pick me up. And I'll be using my uh, Milwaukee Impact Take the Cab bolts out. I'll let y'all watch me do that again. And uh, so then we're going to get me moved. Only, the only two th pieces left over here now is just the grader and uh, my 2154 right there. And, and we're going to, well, Danny will have this grader picked up here in just a little bit of time. He'll probably be here before I get done grading. And then Dad will be here and we'll get my loader loaded up. And just like that, we're on the new job, waiting on Dad to get here with my loader. I mean, we got everything moved today. I mean, the last two loads are on their way. There's a log truck. I thought that was a low bulb, but that's a truck. Here it goes. So I'm already loading the truck. He ain't focusing. Going around that curve up there now. He's getting out to bind it. So we move, move, set up. Right to loading just instantly. I'll load the truck. Keep right on going. Another one back in here and load him too. That right rear tire is flat. The bead has done separated on it long after we got here on this new job so we got Danny to come back in the low boy and uh, we're just gonna take it to the shop we'll get the tire guy to come to the shop man at their shop for us we'll put some on it here so for this video ends um, the upcoming videos are I got there's some real good stuff coming but in the near future in the next week or so there's going to be some changes coming with cotton top three mainly on the social media side of things i am i mean by the time y'all watch this video it may have already happened so we'll just have to see but i'm fixing to adjust my facebook a lot and i'm also gonna adjust snapchat a lot i am I have got to pull myself out of the public just a little bit because there I'm too vulnerable. And and I did that. I did that on purpose to build myself. And I think it's easy for a YouTuber and other people to get caught up in that and end up being a little bit too exposed. And uh so as, as time goes, you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about. But uh, I have got to I have got to change some things a little bit. It's going to be for the good. It's not going to hurt anybody or nothing like that. Everything is still going to get videos and all that stuff. I'm just not going to be as easily accessible as I have been since all this started. So like I said, you'll see and understand. So I hope y'all have a good good day, good evening, all that good stuff. So we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.